Hello everyone. So the item that you're looking at today is my Mini Antigona by Givenchy. And I've had this bag by the time you see this video for about five months. It was purchased pre-loved and had a bit of wear on it, but nothing major. Um, mine is in the color black in the sugar leather. Sugar leather is just their fancy term for um, like a pebble grain leather, essentially. Um, their Lord leather is the shinier calfskin type material. So this is in the sugar leather in the color black. I had seen this bag again and again and again. Um, a, if a bag is produced year after year after year for at least 10 years, it reaches what they call a classic status. This bag has been produced in their line without uh, interruption for, I believe, nine years. So you're basically looking at what's going to be in a year or two, a very classic bag to their line um, and a classic bag in general. So um, it means it's a good purchase. It's a strong purchase because it has staying power in the market. People gravitate to it year after year. Um, so it makes it good value for your money. And I had seen it and heard negative things about the weight of the bag, which is why I never purchased it. But I had the opportunity to go to a consignment store and see a few of these in person in the various sizes, and it was not that heavy. Uh, once again, this is the mini. I was put off by hearing that it was heavy, but it in fact was not. So once I felt the weight of the bag, I felt more confident to go ahead and buy it, um, which I did. I paid in the $800 range. I paid, I think, $850 for it, and it's a 2015. Um, it had a little bit of wear, but nothing, nothing substantial, just, you know, some stuff on the bottom. Um, which would be expected because it doesn't have feet um, and then a little bit on the corners but nothing significant especially since it was from uh, 2015. The only problem that I've had with this bag so far and I want to address it immediately because nobody in their videos mentions this and I, I never heard it mentioned I didn't even know it was an issue um, but I have a significant issue with the strap on this bag. Um, they at one point had them completely attached where you could not remove the strap. Now the models are made, uh, I believe in 2014 is when they changed it so that you could remove the strap. So two problems with the strap, actually maybe three or more, I don't even know. The strap is hard to get off, number one. Um, the strap attaches, let me see if I can bring it a little closer here. It has a little notch right there. And then here's the strap. So in order to get the strap off, you align the two little lip pieces together. You align this part right here that's open with that little section right there. Um, it looks easy sometimes, and then sometimes it's a little more difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a video. I was taking some mod shots for you guys. Mod shots are gonna be located at the back end of this video, but I wanna show you the struggle I had getting the strap off of the bag. Although it looks easy, sometimes it's a struggle, and I want you guys to see that. So I'm gonna roll some footage of how difficult it can be to actually get the strap off the bag even though it looks easy. So let me insert that right now. So hopefully you found that entertaining. I was in the middle of mod shots trying to take the strap off to show you guys and I couldn't got, I could not get the strap off. Now oddly, even though it looked hard to get off in that video and it was, from time to time the strap comes completely detached from the bag. So you're holding the bag or you're wearing it crossbody and the strap is just off. So I was walking, this has happened several times, it's not just like once or twice. So I'm walking with my bag down the street and all of a sudden the strap is hanging like off the bag and it's on me crossbody. So the bag is like dangling down half my body because the strap has become detached. Um, it happens when you set the bag down on a table and you go to lift it up and your strap is detached. Um, I, I don't know what the design flaw is in this strap, but it does come detached often. So if you have never heard of that happening, uh, it definitely happens. And I think it happens to other people as well. I cannot be the only one. Um, I've seen... Um, reports online of people saying that their strap has become detached so super super annoying um, the other annoying part you can kind of see right here how it's all about the strap basically otherwise the, the bag is really great uh, you can see how it curls right here on the strap and you can't 
not get that because the way the strap is structured it's sewn down right here this tab that's right here on both sides on this side and on this opposite side it won't move so it won't move forward to help you lay that strap flat down it just pops up so you get used to this end piece just being there because there's no way to actually um, you know hold it back down and the strap itself has these like little points right here these little bullet points and it's very difficult to adjust these to get the correct length um, it, they don't pop out easily they they move forward and backward a little bit with this like tiny little groove that's right there but it's very very difficult to adjust the strap and once you get it in position you pretty much have to leave it there I realized that I told you the problem of the strap becoming detached without giving you a proper solution. The solution that I've come up with in order for my strap to not be detached is to just find a charm, um, any bag charm. You can use any of your favorite bag charms or you can use um, a ring like this that goes like on a key ring. So a bag charm, a ring like this. Um, you can use the ring like this by itself or you can use like this upper connector piece So you just need some sort of connector piece. Um, I'm making use of a charm not this one But because it's white I picked it so I could show you the contrast and how you would do it So hopefully I'll be able to do this and um, what you're gonna do is Insert first the charm or you know, whatever piece connector piece you're using into this first outer ring And then you're gonna connect this piece as well to this ring right here. So give me just a minute while I do that for you guys. Okay, so hopefully you can see I attached the white part first through the uh, D-ring attached to the bag, and then I attached it to the strap. So all three pieces are secured to one another. Um, and if you do that, if you take any kind of connector piece or bag charm and attach all three of the items to each other, this strap right here, the um, attached strap will not come off the bag. So if that's a concern, and it is a legitimate concern if you own this bag, um, take care to put some sort of bag charm or connector piece on both sides of the bag, not just one side, both sides. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, my model is a 2015, like I said, and the strap length on mine goes down all the way to a 22. So I think more recent models have a shorter strap. So that's something you'd have to verify how long is the strap on the bag you're looking at. Um, because the older models, I think, have different strap lengths. And I've seen some that are as short as 19 um, and some in the 20 range, but mine goes down to a full 22. The bottom length of the bag, and this is the mini, which actually isn't all that mini. It has a great capacity. It goes to about 8.75 in length. In height, it's going to about an eight. And its width is at a five, just shy of a five. The little handle up here, if this is of importance to anybody, let's see if I go in the center here. It has a drop of about three. Um, it does go on the wrist. It does look very well um, carried, you know, by hand, uh, crossbody, on the shoulder, lots of different ways to wear it. I absolutely love this bag. I have to say, with the exception of the strap, the bag is phenomenal. It looks amazing. It looks professional. I had seen it carried in television shows, reality shows, by people who are in corporate offices, real estate, banking, law offices, etc. And they always looked so put together. It has that really, really thick hardware up at the top, which gives it like, you know, a more edgy vibe, but doesn't at all take away from the fact that it's a super professional bag. It looks just phenomenal when you're carrying it or wearing it. It looks, it, it really, really, really elevates an outfit. It really does. Um, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't buy it new, actually, because uh, I've used it extensively already in the five months that I've owned it. And I, I can, it's just really great. I love it. Aside from the strap. Uh, I'll just show you what I have in there. It's a black interior, so it might be difficult to see, but that's the opening like that. And you can get your hands like down in there. So you definitely have room to dig around and open it up. Um, so lots of space in there. You can get both hands and dig around. It's not going to be like a tight opening. It doesn't open super wide if you use the handles, but you have enough room for sure to get in there and look for your items. Um, I always carry the dust bag with it because it doesn't have feet on the bottom. If I have to set it somewhere, I feel a little more confident um, that I have the dust bag. So I'm in the habit now of carrying the dust bag with it. So that's inside there. And also if it rains or something, I can protect it. I have just a little coin case right here with my change and coins. I have my phone. I have a little makeup case with makeup. I have my keys dropped down at the bottom in there. 
and just candy, gum, and miscellaneous items. That's it. Um, it's hard to see, like I said, because it's black, but it does have a zippered pocket against this back wall, a small zippered pocket. And it goes down, you can see my hand goes fully in there. So you can definitely get like a phone in there that's on the smaller size. And then on this opposite wall over here, you have um, two slip pockets. Neither one is gonna be big enough for a phone, but you can definitely put like your keys or something small in those. So that's just basically an overview of the bag. Um, once again, mine's in black in the sugar leather. This is a mini size. I love it. I would highly, highly recommend the bag. If you have any hesitation, just it, it don't don't have hesitation over this bag i really hesitated for years over it because of what other people said and when i had the chance to examine it in person i was like they're all wrong it's not a heavy bag it's a beautifully made beautifully constructed bag and you can easily see why it's a classic um, it does come in multiple sizes i think if you go beyond this size it could get heavy um, it's not super light i'm not gonna say it's you know a light bag but it's definitely not um you know, the way people led me to believe. So I'm happy that I investigated it myself. 100% recommend this bag. So, so happy I got it into my collection. The only regret is that I actually didn't buy it new. Um, the, it's 2015, so you're looking at about four years old. And when I received it, some of the wear points that maybe you would see on your own bag with age is around the corners. You can see a little bit of fading around the corner right there. Hopefully it's like right in this corner right here. Color fading. And then wear on the feet because it doesn't have um, any feet on the bottom. It just has like these little leather strips. They come up kind of high, but they're not, you know, like the same as a metal. That's the side profile right there. Such an elegant bag. If you're in corporate America like I am, um, or in a corporate office or where you have to dress professionally, this would look amazing. I see a little bit right here of wear along the strap area. Hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know what kind of lighting I have. And that's the opposite side and then the front and if you have concerns over people seeing you know the label it's not on the back um, and I don't know if this is easily identifiable or not I haven't had anybody approach me and say I like your you know mini Antigona or your Givenchy nobody's ever said that so I don't know if it's easily identifiable to other women or men I have no idea um, but I feel really great carrying it I love the bag highly recommend it if you have any questions or you want to know more please let me know. I'd be happy to test items in there for you. Um, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.